Welcome to the Country Scroll. In today's episode, uh, it's not going to be an episode actually. This is one of those many videos, uh, like the camera jigs and updates on the workshop and stuff like that, that just me, Dustin, is going to uh, explain what we're doing. Today we're going to be just creating a simple handle that you can use for your files, uh, maybe a strap one on a chisel or a rasp or whatever. It's just a simple handle out of a, a piece of 2x4. So let's go make one. Now due to having a uh, glue up process going on here with some cool looking bowls which I'll show on the uh, Steve Good Community Forum when they're done I'll have to uh, get over here where I have a little bit of space to uh, show you what we're going to do. Now uh, a lot of people have uh, scrap 2x4s laying around if you don't you know if you have a wall in your house or something that's exposing some studs just cut one of those studs out of there. No I'm just kidding you don't want to do that at all. Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, on this 2x4, 2x4 uh, isn't really 2 inches by 4 inches. It's usually an inch and uh, 3 quarters, I believe. Yes, or no, it's an inch and a half. So uh, that's right, because the blanks will be an inch and a half by inch and a half. So what we're going to do is, since that's an inch and a half, we're going to just use our square, measure over an inch and a half, make our mark and then however long the handle we want it to be in this case I'll just make it eh, four and a half inches seems to be pretty good that's what the other ones are let's use my square So with that drawn, instead of using the scroll saw and beating it up just to cut some 2x4, I will cut it on the bandsaw. Here what I have is a Craftsman 14 inch bandsaw and uh, I got it from Sears and it's a pretty good deal on it and we're going to be using that to uh, easily cut our piece of 2x4 here and uh, it's been a great help with uh, small projects in the workshop. Uh, since I've gotten it, I've uh, found uh, some great uses for it. So let's go ahead and cut it. So now with our inch and a half by inch and a half by four and a half inches long uh, stock or blank, uh, what we're going to do is uh, start to round it over. And the easiest way that I have for that, because I do not have a lathe or uh, anything like that, I'm going to cut a 45 degree angle off of each edge and that will uh, start the round over and then with some hand tools I'll be able to just finish the round over and make it a nice smooth uh, round piece of wood for the handle. So since this is inch and a half by inch and a half, I'll just use my ruler and mark uh, half an inch on each side and then have the line go down and that will be cutting off a half inch off of each corner with the 45 and I'll do that on the scroll saw. So I'll get all this marked out and we'll start cutting. Alright, so here I have my scroll saw set up to a 45 degree angle and uh, I drew lines on all sides of this just in case uh, the reference of it because I can't cut it up here or it runs into my uh, thumb screw so uh, I'll just mark them all so it's easier to cut it. So I'll start just by cutting one and then uh, skip to the end.
Now I'll repeat that process all the way around it until I'm done. Alright, so now what we have when our 45s are cut is this octagon shape. I believe that's what it's called. Uh, and what I did before I cut those angles is find the center of it because we will be drilling a hole to attach our uh, files or rasps that we'll be putting in. And uh, it's easier to find the center before you cut the angles. So now what we're going to do is start to round it over. Now one method you could use is using a rasp or a file. And uh, the set of rasps and files I got from Harbor Freight came with two of these handles. So uh, not all of them have one, that's why I'm making some. And uh, by all means you can probably buy some uh, replacement handles or something to attach to all of yours. But this is just a quick uh, way and creative to make your own. So you can either do it this way. And it makes pretty quick work of it. Or you can use your belt sander, which what I'm going to do just to speed the process up a tad bit faster. So here is my uh, central machinery belt sander that I got from Harbor Freight. And this will be easier to uh, rotate them just like the uh, salt and pepper shakers I did uh, in the last video. And that will make quicker work of it. Just like that, I'm basically done. So now we're back over here and add a pretty cool looking grain to it. Uh, this is a good enough uh, shape of circle. And uh, what I'm going to do first is drill the hole. And then we can finesse these edges to make them a little bit easier on the hands. Maybe you could taper it down or put some grooves in it for your hands to go on to. Again, also the length of this, you want to make it to fit your hand. Uh, four and a half inches may be too small or too big for some of you guys, but uh, or gals. So uh, this is just the one I made. So I'll go over my drill press and drill the hole. So here's my drill press, and I have a quarter inch drill bit chucked up in it. And my table on this, there's a slight problem. It can only go down so far. So what I'll have to do is swing it to the side, x nay the table, and actually just take some chunks of wood, or you could even use a brick I assume, and uh, just use that as a thing to prop it up, and you can drill your hole. Now uh, as far as the depth of this, the files and rasps, rasps go at various lengths as far as this little thing, so uh, I will go in, oh, probably about an inch and then uh, the rest of the way I'll just pound on to the file. So there's the hole. So now that we have this I went ahead and rounded over the edges of it and uh, it's basically done. Now what we can do is take, uh, this is just a file, and put it in there, and then it goes down so far to where it's snug, so I'll flip it over, and I will pound on it with a hammer, and uh, careful not to split this. I haven't split one yet, and I've made a couple of them, so uh, just be careful with it. And it doesn't have to go all the way down, just enough to where it's not going to pull out when you're, you know, using it. And uh, there's your handle. So that is a quick and easy way to make a simple little handle for free if you have scrap 2x4s laying around. So thanks for watching this little video. Next video, we're making a cool kitchen clock. Stay tuned.